Assalamualaikum. Okay, today I am deciding to try and vlog majority of my day. What I can vlog. It's currently. This is shocking. It's seven forty-nine a.m. Now you might be thinking, why is that shocking? It's shocking because it's seven forty-nine a.m. And this is Zechariah right now at seven forty-nine a.m. He's still asleep. Now, that's crazy because he wakes up every morning at like 6 a.m. or 6.30 and it's 7.49. That's insane. Zachary alone, buddy, he's so consistent with his sleep. Like, the fact that it's this time in the morning is unheard of. It's never happened before. Today, we have his dermatology appointment, which we've been waiting for for like a year. Like, almost a year ago, we took him to the doctors because his eczema was just really really bad like he was bleeding and it was just horrible 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 and it was getting worse and worse and in the summer it was really hot so he's wearing shorts and t-shirts and sometimes he wasn't wearing anything other than like a nappy because it was so hot and so he'd be able to itch it and stuff and it would get worse and finally today's the day in Ma March like the next year that we've got our dermatology, appoint dermatology appointments I'm taking him this morning but now his eczema is completely but it's completely gone alhamdulillah so it's a bit of a catch train too but he's finally got the appointment after such a long time so i'm going to take him because i think that it's going to come back now that the summer's coming and now he's going to be wearing shorts and stuff anyway my point is it's good that he's sleeping still because his appointment is around his nap time so i need him to nap a bit later today so that's why i'm being a bit quiet but there's another thing that's happening today so I'm sure some of you guys might know if you listen to Dad's Dunya, which is my podcast that I do on Freshly Grounded that's about being a dad. I take care of the mornings. So my time with Zachary really is the mornings. And I love waking up in the mornings. And I love being with him in the mornings. It allows his mum to get some rest. And then pretty much I'm at work all day. And so I don't really spend much time with him during the day. So I really, really enjoy my mornings with him. All that being said, I'm about to switch up the morning routine today. So for the longest, literally forever, for all of his life, he's had milk when he wakes up in the morning the first I do is I give him a bottle of milk and then he kind of lies down and has his milk and then I get him after he's finished his milk. Today I'm going to attempt to not give him milk. I'm just going to give him breakfast. Like normally he has milk and then maybe an hour later or something he'll have breakfast like porridge, wheat bix egg, whatever. But normally it ends up being wheat bix Weetabix because it's easiest. So what I'm going to do today because he's starting to not eat as well and I want him to eat better and so to take his milk out and then just give him Weetabix which has his milk in it. Anyway, that's the plan. Okay, so prepare his food now even though he's not even awake. There's my bowl. He eats way better when we eat together, so. One wheat bix for Zakaria, two for daddy. So Zakaria, as you can see, is standing up, which means it's time to finally start the day. Okay, breakfast is done. Now Zakaria and I are going to Argos because basically what's happened is last night Zakaria, yeah, I know. Yesterday Zakaria was at his nan's house who is our childcare bubble. And what did you do, Zakaria? You tell them. No, tell them. Tell them. What did you do? Basically, he uh, he broke the heater, the electric heater. So I feel bad, and so I'm gonna go and I found the exact one in Argos. So I thought, let's get it for them. I was even thinking about writing a note from Zachary, like to Nan, sorry for breaking your heater, from Zachary. <coughs> nope, he doesn't like that. So we're gonna go grab the heater and then pick up his mum, <laughs> and then go to the dermatology appointment. What's happening? Ah, 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 ah. Right. <sighs> got the heater. It looks a bit smaller than the one they had. I thought it was the same one, but this looks more of a tabletop. Okay, <laughs> Zachary wants to move. Let's go. Okay, daddy duties are now done. That appointment was quite useless, but it had to be done. He's been alive for 15 months and for like 10 or 11 of those months has had the worst eczema. And then like we finally get the dermatologist appointment that took like a year and his eczema is completely cleared up. And that's actually great news. So I'm trying not to complain about it because on one end I'm like, I'm frustrated. Like, oh, like we finally got the appointment and there's nothing to show the dermatologist. And on the other end, I don't know why I'm complaining because that's literally why we went to see the dermatologist so they got cleared up and it's got cleared up. So Alhamdulillah, it's cleared up. But then the appointment was like, she was like, well, it's fixed. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And that was it. Now we're back in the studio and I'm sure you guys might be able to see that I'm wearing this top. Now this top is, it says 
stop thinking, stop. I can't read it because it's backwards. Let me give you a like understanding of the top. So basically, I'm sure you guys have sometimes seen that YouTube allow creators to have merchandise and sell merchandise underneath their um, YouTube videos, uh, which is like a creator merch store, right? And not everybody has access to it, but YouTube finally gave us access to it. And we wanted to utilize that to have available merch for our YouTube audience. And so one of the tops is, or this is the only one that we've actually like got right now, but with the concept was we wanted to create clothes and merch that rather than just being like the freshly grounded logo, which, you know, I know you guys love freshly grounded, but at the same time, like you're not necessarily gonna walk around with freshly grounded logo printed on your chest. We wanted to maybe create something that had like really minimal quotes that freshly grounded is built upon. And so this one says, stop thinking, uh, okay, let me just look down. Yeah, stop thinking about what others will say. So the concept of stop thinking about what others will say is one of the things that kind of I guess freshly grounded is built upon. First of all, we care too much about what other people will say, and a lot of the times it doesn't matter. They're not the other person is not even thinking or they're not losing sleep over it at night. And so have confidence in yourself, stop caring what other people will say. But also, like there's this like saying in our culture, but also I found through interviewing people in like almost every culture, which is like people are too conscious of what other people say. In Urdu, people say Loki kya genge. Which is like what will people say? And so it's like stop caring what people will say. And so it's a very minimalistic sweatshirt and the concept of it is really cool. If you do want it, hopefully it's available in the merch store. But there's Nate. Assalamu alaikum Nate. And Nate's gonna take some pictures of me for socials wearing the top. And there's the explanation. There's the explanation. So we're gonna take some pictures, inshallah, on this set right here. So I'm just setting up for this week's episode of podcast. Right now, studio is a bit of a mess because I'm switching between working from home and working from the office. I'm packing a lot of the equipment with me. So it takes a bit longer to set up an episode than it did before because before everything was just always in here. Okay, so there's major updates happening here. Basically, what's happening is um, the guest that we were going to have on Fresh Grounded, that guest is based outside of the UK. It was a virtual episode. And so where he's based, there's technical issues that we couldn't solve. And so basically, as you guys know, we release episodes of Fresh Grounded every Friday. And usually we shoot them way in advance. Oh, no, that's not true. We mostly shoot them in advance and sometimes way in advance. Um, and sometimes we even have like, you know, backup episodes and stuff like that. But this time, Qadr Allah, we had no episodes ready. And that was the episode we're going to go with, we're going to shoot it today, which is Friday. It's going to be out today, which is Friday. We've done that before loads of times before, so it wasn't a big issue. Problem is that, alhamdulillah, that got cancelled because of technical issues. So then we started panicking, saying it's Friday. Last thing we want to do is miss an episode because it's Friday. And the one thing we like to do with Freshly Grounded is be consistent. No matter what, every single Friday, get an episode out. That's what we really try hard to do, stay consistent. And so it was not an option that we weren't going to do an episode, inshallah, but we were trying to figure out how we are going to do it. So we put the post out on Twitter, we put the post out on Instagram, and then, alhamdulillah, actually, even though you guys came up with some great suggestions, I actually got in touch with someone outside of Twitter and Instagram, and just someone that I knew and who had a meeting with yesterday, a really amazing brother called Isa, who is phenomenal with marketing. He's got an insane brain in his head, on his shoulders. Very interesting brother, very charismatic. You guys may have seen him on the IAO streams before. And so I hit him up and I said, I love his energy. And I was like, Isa, can you do an episode today? And he said, he has three meetings today, bless him. And he still is making it happen. So we're gonna live stream an episode. That way we don't have to do any edits. It gets, you guys see it as it's happening. And so Alhamdulillah, we're still getting an episode out tonight with Isa. So now I'm just gonna schedule the live stream. I'm gonna clean in the studio so that when I come back to the office at 8pm I don't have to like I don't have to like set it all up because I'm a mess right now <laughs> sorry bro I know you don't like that <laughs> sorry um, and so that's it really so we got an episode alhamdulillah so I'm just making a coffee and uh, while I drink my coffee I'm gonna obviously set up the room here's the cough tasty give it a little swirl job done Bob's your uncle I'm gonna drink that while I set the setup and then we're gonna pray salatul asr and then I'm gonna be off, spend some time with the family and come back in the evening for a nice, light, fun episode, live stream of F.G. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To you guys, it may look like nothing's happened. I've just transitioned back into the office. But really, in that time I've gone home and uh, I've been at home and now it's been a few hours and I've come back. And the reason I'm back is obviously to do the episode. So Isa, who I'm doing the episode with, has been, who I'm doing the episode with, not with, uh, has been delayed. But he's still gonna make it in time, inshallah. So that just gives me time to continue setting up and stuff like that. Really? I bought myself from home a decaf coffee pod. Because I've already had two coffees today. It's also like 8.30 p.m. when we start the podcast, which is fairly late. I don't want to have a caffeinated coffee and so uh, we don't have any decaf coffees in the office and so I bought a caffeine uh, we don't have any caffeine so I bought a caffeine so I bought a decaffeinated <laughs> that was all real as well that was even edited I bought a decaffeinated coffee
coffee pod from her. But it sounds like I'm gonna definitely need a caffeinated one because that was a mess. <sighs> that was a genuine sigh too. All right guys, I'll see you in a bit, I'm tired. All right, so I'm with Isa. Salam alaikum, Isa. Okay. It's very late at night. We just finished our stream about an hour ago now. We've been talking since then, and it was an amazing episode. What did we discuss, Isa, on the podcast? Yeah, Putting on the spot. These non fungible tokens. Non fungible tokens. If you want to find out what they are, check out the podcast. I'm going to sign out, guys, now because we've had a long day, and I want to finish off the conversation with Isa. So I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I'm about to upload the first ever. My first ever NFT, and we're gonna try and sell it. This is the NFT. We're gonna try and sell it for one Ethereum, which is one thousand five hundred dollars. You never know, bro. The first freshly grounded. First NFT. ever, um, freshly grounded, uh, NFT. Is it called NFT yet? Yeah. Only one piece. Yeah. So I'm right here. Only one piece. 